and just why I went from Nikes to Brooks to now Hoka's and possibly my- <laughs> Is that a lot of shoes? Shoes, shoes, and even some more shoes. I even have my first pair of running shoes in here. Let's see where it is. First pair of running shoes when I started to, I guess, road race. I don't know if I have my cross country one. I don't know if these are my cross country shoes, but I do have them and I do not want to get rid of them because I do not know when I ran in them. I will have to look back at my freshman year cross country photos to see if these were actually my first pair of running shoes that I know of, but I know for sure these are what I was running in for my first road race, which was the Louisiana quarter marathon back in 2020. But yeah, I have been in so many running shoes, especially since I went into that high ball volume training, putting miles upon miles upon miles, not just week by week, but month by month. It really does put a toll into your bank account. It does cost a lot of money. So much money, everybody. I went through Nike's, Brooks, and now I'm on Hoka's. Not about going back to Brooks. Discuss that in a little bit, but yeah, I go and have been through so many pairs of shoes, everybody. I do not even know where to begin. So as you can see everybody, I have a lot of pair of Hoka's and specifically the Hoka Clifton Selection. These are, I don't even know. I think this is a pair that I don't even have yet. Okay, so as you see, I do have a lot of pair of Hoka Clifton 7. To be exact, I had four pairs and I think I even had some more pairs, but for sure four pairs. And I went through two pairs of Brook Rebel 4s, which was before I went into my, or actually kind of during my half marathon training black back in 2021 training for the Louisiana half. And then Chris mentioned, by the way, keep forgetting, I am Matthew. I keep forgetting to mention my name. I'm so sorry about that. I am so sorry. I am Matthew. And so Chris mentioned about the Hoka's and I'm like, I'm going to try them out. So one run, I decided to do some strides because I didn't want to fully go into the motion of changing up some shoes. But speaking of that, I end up running in the Hoka Clifton 7s for the Louisiana Half Marathon. And that just kind of started my thing up for loving Hoka's. And so I got me another pair of Hoka's. I actually was running in Brooks for a little bit. I kept the intertwining a little bit because I was developing heel pain. Shocking everybody. Plantar fasciitis has kicked my butt, especially in the last 17 weeks. No running at all for the past 17 weeks because of heel pain from plantar fasciitis. But yeah, it has been kicking my butt. But this is... I think my second pair of the Hoka Clifton's. I know I have kept all my Clifton's. I know that for a fact, but I think this was my second pair of the Clifton's where, no, this was. Okay, everybody, I really don't know anymore. I'm just gonna go with this one. This is my second pair of the Hoka Clifton's. It actually was, I remember, because I know from videos of my first training day of, or my first medium long run of the Gulf Coastal Marathon training block that I completed, I remember seeing a video and I had these and I was warming up, but also running in those shoes so i know and then i ended up getting a second pair i think a month later which was this color and then i went to another pair which was the sunset and i also got me a pair of mach 4 and my racing shoe is the carbon fiber which i am going to dive in deep of why i use each of these shoes and just why i went from nikes to brooks to now hokas and possibly might just go back to brook or just vary between and have no type of shoe brand that i specifically like but specifically I do not like Nike actually and I will discuss that but I'm going to put all these shoes up just looking to make sure if those are all my shoes that I have I did own two pairs of these Nike Quest and they did really good for me I know they have worn down took them longer time to wear down just because I I wasn't running that much back then I wasn't into the full running effect it, it it allowed me to stay injury free, but I love running so much more that I go through a pair of shoes. Like, they're free. But 
not right now. She's saving some money on that, which is good. But biking has wasted some money because my tire keeps on blowing out. So that is that. So I'm going to discuss about the pair of shoes, which I want to give a shout out to someone on my Instagram. I put a thing up on my Instagram of what video ideas should I do? Because I was kind of, I'm not going to lie. I was kind of running out of ideas and someone said, I think her name was Grace Runs. I'll put it right here on the screen. But yeah, she mentioned about doing the shoes that I use. So I'm like, I woke up this morning knowing that I was going to end up doing another uh, vlog of what shoes do I use and kind of like why. I have in just all the shoe pairs that I have been through. Okay, everybody, so I'll settle down five minutes later to get all situated. But yeah, like I was saying before, I have been through a good bit of running shoes. I'm not sure how many exactly, because I did essentially run in fifth grade, I ran in seventh grade, and so on. But yeah, I've been through a good pair of shoes. First, going to Nike. So the first shoe I kind of owned was the, a brand from I think Sacconi's, or possibly, I don't know, I just got a random running shoe when I was running in fifth grade and seventh grade not really sure what my first pair of running shoes was i'm very curious and i will have to look it up to see after i film this video because i am actually very curious but i know i end up transitioning into nikes which i end up purchasing what i call my first pair of running shoes that i actually use for road racing which was the nike quest and it worked out really well for me as you see the bottom it had a very good bottom but it is kind of worn down as you can kind of see, it's something that you really don't want to be running on fully. And I had a lot of miles into it. And I think I reached all the way up to probably 400 before I transitioned. Honestly, actually, it probably wasn't 400. It's probably like 300, but still a good bit of miles. And it did me well. I mean, I ran not just a quarter marathon. also ran the Mardi Gras Mongo 10K. And I also ran my first half marathon in it. And I reached a 130.19 with not even knowing what the half marathon distance felt like it's my first one i was 14 years old not knowing what i truly wanted to become in the sport of running and these did me well i really loved them but then i'm like maybe i need to start looking more into running shoes especially since i want to get more into running which after a half marathon i did want to get more into running so i ended up going to the shoe store and i purchased me another pair i'm like i'm not spending so much money on a pair of shoes these cost like 80 bucks at the time and so i'm like i am not going to spend like 150 bucks on a pair of running shoes but later that summer i think in the month of august chris decided to purchase a pair pair of good solid running shoes so of course i had purchased me a good pair of running shoes so i went with nikes again and i picked the nike pegasus 37s yes and these are worn down i went through my first pair and i totally loved them i really did like them a lot and they gave me kind of i don't know speed on my feet in a way but then i got my second pair and i didn't get like a mile into it i really started disliking it i got some heel pain from it they were just really heavy on my feet it's almost like i was carrying a rock like I had a rock or no not a rock a brick as my shoe these were very heavy on my feet and they were always causing some pain or some niggles so i dropped them i still have a pair of shoes that only has about five miles on them and i might do a giveaway if you want to have a pair of running shoes that only have like five miles and you love a nike pegasus comment down below and i just might happen to do a giveaway because i'm not going to use a pegasus the only reason i'm keeping them is to show that i don't need them it's just to show uh for good measures i guess so yeah i possibly might do a giveaway on that so comment down below if you would like a pair of nike pegasus and i might just happen to do that so yeah that was my second pair of running shoes which i was done and i purchased me a pair of brooks first brooks ever and i test at the shoe store which is varsity that we had varsity sports want to give you a shout out thank you so much you do so much for me because i literally spent about an hour and a half testing out and trying shoes will work out the best for me and i found out the brooks rebel 4 very good light supportive shoe on my foot don't even know how to really explain it because i don't truly know everything about shoes i have to always do a lot of research and i haven't worn these shoes in more than a year so i don't truly know about it but i remember how comfortable 
how responsive and supportive the shoe was. And I might actually go back to Brook because overall I went injury free in Brook because I did race the Golf Coastal Half Marathon in 2020 with the Nike Pegasus. As you can see, of course, we'll probably show a little video. But yeah, I raced in those shoes and then I ended up transitioning into the Brooks. So yeah, I went a good while with running in the Nike Pegasus. And then after that race, I developed some heel pain. I'm like, I'm tired of these Pegasus. They keep on giving me injuries, pains, nagles. So I went to varsity and I got these for Christmas and they did me so well. I went and trained for the Louisiana Half Marathon running very good long runs, 14 to 16 mile distant long runs, about 40 to 50 mile a week. And they did me really good. And then I ended up getting me another pair with also Chris giving me a pair of the Hoka Clifton 7s, which the Hoka Clifton 7s, I was just going to run speed work on them. And that's the sense, that's all I did. I ran maybe like these shoes in three or four times. I know I ran it for my long runs to see how it would feel over a long distance. I ran it for strides and just other stuff like that. But I stayed in the Brooks Rebel 4, which it wasn't these, it was just another pair. And on race day, I decided to race in the Clifton 7s. And I took a week off and I developed some heel pain like two weeks after that. And I was done with the Brooks. I'm like, these are probably old. And I, but I really love the Clifton 7s. They were responsive, supportive, very, very cushiony. Like they provided so much cushion that they were really good. And I thought the Brooks were giving me some heel pain. So I got me another pair and another pair and another pair. And now I'm like, I have heel pain again. And it might be too much cushion with the Clifton selection that I might just have to go back to Brooks because I never had a pain. I never had a nickel running in Brooks. So when my foot gets officially better and I'm able to start running again, I might just have to go back to the Clifton Select. I mean, not the Clifton Selection, the Brooks Rebel 4 or some type of Brooks shoe because I really did love them. I really did, but I would still race in the Hoka Carbon X2s, I believe. I think I got the Carbon X2s. Yeah, these are the Carbon X2s. No, Carbon X, I don't know everybody. This is freaking me out, but I will, I'm gonna have to look it up. See, because my shoe, I, I still have the shoe box because is it anybody else? Qu actually, question of the day. Do you use shoe boxes as like storage containers? When I buy a pair of shoes, I always keep the shoe box. And I typically store them in my closet till I actually will need them for a storage thing. Because I always seem to use my shoe boxes for storage things. I store my clip bars in it, my protein bars, my gels. Literally everything goes in stores and my shoe boxes. Like after I get a pair of shoes, I will always keep the shoe box. Does anybody else? Else do that comment down below as that is the question of the day but yeah these are the hoka carbon x's or hoka carbon x2s don't really remember but i really suggest these for racing as they were very cushiony but also a very fast shoe with a carbon fiber plate inside of them not to mention about the clifton and the mocks now the mocks are also a very fast shoe i really did love the mock 4 i am not going to lie about that they kind of remind me of these shoes mixed with these shoes so yeah yeah, it just in my opinion, I don't know anybody else's, but in my opinion, they, I ran in all of these shoes and they, they feel like a cross between the Hoka Clifton Selection and the Carbon X2. Just because they provide a lot of supportiveness, but they kind of are a fast shoe. They help you go faster on the road because they are overall way more responsive than an easy day shoe like the Clifton Selection. Not as fast as these shoes, but they are pretty fast and I really did love them which I'm going to have to end up making a review on these because I still have not yet to done that. And I really do want to make a review. Like I said, after the marathon, I'm like, I'm going to make a review on these shoes. And still, it's been four months later and I still have not done that. So comment down below if you would love to see a review on the Carbon X2s, I believe. And if people say yes, I'll make that review. But I'm going to get you the comment and the question of the day so we can close. I already got you the question of the day. So I'm going to get the comment of the day, which I'm going to have to pull it up because... I never have the comment of the day pulled up when I'm filming. Yeah, I always remind myself, I'm like, you're gonna pull it up before you start filming so you don't have to cut out three minutes I look up the comment of the day. So yeah, I don't have the comment of the day available yet, but now I do, which it goes to Blue Boy Blue. By the way, you are very supportive to our channel. I love all this feedback and all the opinion you do give to our channel. It really does mean a lot and help us change for the better or sometimes we just listen and evaluate the problem to see what it actually means. But you say, I have to keep harping on this, but if you could say your name at the beginning of your videos, 
that would be helpful. I am so sorry because I know you mentioned this like a whole month ago, which videos were still being posted out that we didn't say our names in them because when you said this, we still had like a long video lineup to be posted out. But since you said that comment and I filmed since then, I still forget to say my name. I honestly so forget it. Thank God I remember in this video, but I still didn't remember until like three, four minutes into the video. And I'm so sorry for that. I hope to continue. I might have to just like write it down and like keep it on my desk to actually see. But yeah, that is the comment of the day. I want to thank y'all for watching. Stay humble, work hard, and be kind. I'll see y'all next one. Peace.